Hey, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hot Now with Hot 97 social media manager, King Louie, and Hot 97's heavy hitter and DJ, DJ Wala. And of course, I'm your host, multimedia personality and music director of Hot 97, TT Torres. Today, we talk Drake, artist of the decade, hot or not. All right, DJ Wala, let's kick it off to you first. Hot. Drake is the hottest artist out. He's been the hottest artist out for over a decade. The most consistent, the most number ones. It's, he's undeniably the best artist of this generation. Well, are you saying that because you are basing that off of numbers or does his talent equate to being artist of the decade? Put the numbers about, aside. Both numbers and his talent. He's very talented. Is he not? Mm. King Louie? Look, I think Drake is very talented. I think he actually does deserve the award. But I wonder, is there anybody else that could have fought him for it? Whether it's Kendrick, because Kendrick had a lot of bangers during the time and he was a lot of in the conversation. Is it Cole? I mean, those, those are the two biggest, you know, those are the two biggest mm -hmm. artists at that time. Um, mm -hmm. Look, hell. There's even an argument for the Migos. I know it's not one person, but well, the Migos. They, yeah, look, <laughs> they did their thing during the last decade, though. I mean, the Migos. But, but mm -mm. think about who made them hot. Drake cool. made them hot. You know, Drake made them hot. So, Versace. So, so I mean, at the end of the day, I, I, I mean, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was gonna say, at the end of the day, look, Drake is the one that has done it consistently through different genres, through through you know different ways different types of music whether it's r&b or or rap um even with the controversy he made it through he made it through with the beef with, with meek mill i mean it's hard to say he's not right he's let me just play devil's advocate here some people may disagree with the both of you because drake has never delivered according to some a reasonable doubt album a illmatic album and some will also argue that he shouldn't get artist of the decade because he doesn't always pin his own music. Does that even matter? But who else would it be at this point? I mean, look, this is Billboard's artist of the decade, not rapper of the decade, not MC of the decade. This is just artist of the decade. And the one person that you hear everywhere is Drake. No matter you're at a party, you're at the radio station, Drake is literally everywhere. Like there's no other person that I would think that would even come close. Okay. Good, point. Good, Good point. point. I mean, I can't even argue with that. Mm -hmm. On that note, let's keep it pushing. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, let's move along to another artist who can arguably be artist of the decade himself, J. Cole, who hit up the leaker show on Power 106 in LA to drop a freestyle that is making its way all over social media. And some are really showing it a lot of love. I'm going to kick it to you, King Louie. What did you think about that freestyle? Yo, that freestyle is fire. Yo, how can you tell me that freestyle is not fire? Yo, J. Cole rapped over 93 to infinity and he, and he, and he went crazy during I, Still Tipping. I'm not going to lie. That um, Bill Cosby line, though, like he, he, had a, he had a lot of bars in there. But that Bill Cosby line was fire. Fire. And you know what really makes it hot? What now, like what time now do you see big artists like J. Cole go back and do a freestyle? You don't see it anymore. It doesn't yeah. happen. These artists don't want to do it anymore. So having him do it and going back to the raps, it felt like well, is it, is it that they don't want to do it or they don't know how to do it? Because freestyling look, look. is an art that some <laughs> cannot do. Let's keep it a buck. Well, look, look, if you want to go into the art of freestyle, I mean, is anybody really freestyling anymore? I was going to say just that. J. But. Cole did not freestyle. Oh, you know gosh, voila. Here we go. And, and look, artists are making money. They're monetizing everything. If you give away your music for free, you can't make money off of it. So why would a big artist give you a free freestyle? You not. It's, you got to pay for that. It's not always about the money, voila. Yes, it, it is, CT. It's, it's, all, about it's all about no, the money. No, no. It's all about the money. not always be about the money when it comes to our culture. Right. They, and why not? Disagree. Money. This I disagree. Everything costs money. Everything I mean, costs money, CT. Yeah, but everybody was talking about J. Cole before, right? Cool. But look how many people are watching J. Cole today. Everybody's talking about that freestyle today. 2.2 million views in one day, not even one day. Everybody's talking about Cole. You, it helps them. It, it, that turns into money if you exactly. really want to talk into that, but it's not great money. later on. Sometimes if, it's about right. the art, the craft. Like, 
like you 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 just care about money at this point yeah. in the game. Yeah. J. Cole yeah. has so much money. What the fuck does he care about? Like a little bit of dollars from a freestyle. If Cole, Drake was to do that freestyle, how many views would he get? If Drake did that freestyle, how many views would it have? Drake could never do that freestyle he because Drake it. is not a freestyle. The last time Drake did a freestyle with Funk Flex, he wrote off his bla Blackberry and was reading it. Let's not let's not have this debate. <laughs> let's yeah. not because if we do a J Cole versus Drake just battling freestyling. You know Drake will get washed. We don't table. know that. We don't know that. We assume that's what's going to happen. I'll we don't you, know I'll, that. I'll bet you everything in my bank account right now. Now, now it's about the money account. again? So it's all about the money again now. Okay. <laughs> well, Kendrick, right. Kendrick going to watch all of them. So what, what, what are we talking? Oh, gosh. There <laughs> <laughs> you go. I want to bring Kendrick in the, in the chat. Kendrick will watch all of them. Come on. After that freestyle, you got to say... J. Cole has to be in the top five of his generation, hands down. Top five MC of his generation. Yeah, very much so. Who do you think would be the other ones, though? Especially in the last 10 years. Like, who would you think? J. Cole, yeah. of, obviously. Kendrick, obviously. Mm -hmm. I will also have to put um, your boy from Chicago. Uh, Chance? Chance the Rapper. Boring. So, look. If we're going to do top five of this generation, Drake should be up there five times, right? He should be. But artists that really made something happen this last 10 years was artists like Drake, Lil Wayne, Kendrick, and y'all not going to agree with me. Y'all might not agree with me, but even Future, Future opened up the doors for a new sound. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand, but Future, Young Thug, Little Baby, people love these artists. These, this is this generation's Jay-Z, Nas, Tupac, and Biggie. I, I'm gonna put out two names. Wow. I'm gonna put out three names that no one's talking about. Whoa, 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 whoa. He said those guys are this generation, Tupac, Nas, and Biggie. That's a big statement. <laughs> I, I, I just wanna I just wanna point that out. That's a big statement. Fry mm -hmm. his ass in the comments. Yeah, I'm not, let's go. <laughs> let's go, King Louis. I'm not even gonna touch that, but I'm gonna put three names that while I didn't say and I think should be in the conversation. Meek, okay. Meek, Meek's had a good career, and 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 no one's talk about that. I don't want to talk about necessarily the new stuff that he's trying to do, which is very futurist and Uzi-ish, but um, we, we can talk about Rosé, and then and what about Wale? Wale has some stuff Wale low-key, Wale low-key has bangers, and people don't talk about it for whatever reason with Wale, but Wale if if you go back to the conversation, you go, oh, look at this track. Oh, shit. Yeah, I remember this track. Oh, shit. I used to hit this track. Wale don't get talked about enough either you, in this conversation. You know what's pissing me off about you, Wale? You're putting popularity over actual art and skill set. Like, I hear what you're saying, TT, but this is but the music I listen to. I listen to this music. I, I, I listen to it too, and I love to party over it, but popularity does not always equal talent. You're right. But these guys that I named were talented. They make good music consistently. It's not these not a one hit wonder guys. These are real guys that got, you know, a good catalog. You you been to their shows? And, and, and to be safe, look, you can definitely say Future is one of the most influential artists within the last decade. I mean, like you said, he he did help influence a lot of these new artists. Um, but also, whether you like it or not, but, within the realm but, of hip hop, who, but he who has done influenced it. Future. I, I gotta say, Wayne. Of course, I think People Wayne influenced yeah. everybody. I think we say I, I, not not necessarily stop, but I think everybody was influenced by Wayne, especially when it comes to the mixtapes and all that stuff and the how he worked. Everybody's influenced by Wayne in some kind of way within the last 10, 15 years, I can say. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, let's leave it right here. <laughs> This this was an intense show this week. Let's just drop everything right there. Fry Wallah's ass in the comments because I need him to get it this way. Oh, There's gonna be a whole bunch of old dudes in the comments talking about man, get out of here. Yeah, see, it ain't me this time. It ain't me. It ain't me. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Hot Now. Make sure you tune in next week for more episodes with King Louie, DJ Wallah, and me, TT Torres. Thank you so much for watching.